It's 8 o'clock at WKSZ Media, Philadelphia's KISS 100. Good morning. I'm Donna Francavilla with a KISS 100 News Update. Now for WPEN traffic update, let's go to Donna Francavilla. Well, thank you very much. Traffic is easing on the major roadways in Philadelphia and New Jersey as the short traffic... 95 News. Joining me in the studio is Jesse Jackson, just back from the Middle East. What is your perception of Hussein now that you've had the chance to meet with him for several hours? You know, one of the interesting things about this particular pension... Good morning. Is, uh, it's 77 Saddam degrees, Hussein. not exactly surfing weather at 727. I'm Donna Francavilla, WPGC 95. The news is brought to you by Chrysler this Dealers. This is Radio 1580. WPGC AM Business Radio 1580 News Time is 859. You're tuned to Washington's all business radio news leader, WPGC AM Business Radio 1580. Good morning. I'm Steve Chaconis. And coming up in the 9 o'clock hour, it's the latest world news, the Washington Business Report with Victoria Ray. If you listen to WPGC AM Business Radio 1580, you listen with the best of them. <laughs> Hi, I'm Donald Trump. When I'm in Washington, I listen to WPGC AM Business Radio. Outstanding minority business in the county. With more business news, here are WPGC AM anchors Donna Francavilla and Steve Chaconis. Good day and welcome again to another segment of WPGC AM Business Radio Weekly. I'm Steve Chaconis. And I'm Donna Francavilla. Donna, last week's top business story bears significance on several plateaus. Well, that's right, Steve. It's Major Riddick. And, you know, he was the director of the Office of Budget Management since uh, 1986. He now holds what is considered to be the second most powerful position in the county government. And Donna, with this appointment... Who will Delaware Valley voters send to Washington, D.C. to represent them in the 7th Congressional District? Well, five politicians want that job. They are Republican incumbent Kurt Weldon, Republican challenger Fiorindo Vagnozzi, Democrat Frank Daly, Democrat John Inlele, and LaRouche candidate Tony Hadley. Out of the five, only the incumbent and the LaRouche candidate are not lawyers something that amuses Republican incumbent Kurt Weldon. Actually, all three of my opponents are lawyers. What else is new? Who else wants to go to Washington? Lawyers. Half the Congress is made up of lawyers. And I'd like to thank the candidates who took the time to talk with Suburban 31 for this special election night coverage. We wish them well. It's now 9.37, and we'll be back in a moment. Hello and welcome back to Suburban 31's election night coverage. I'm Donna Francavilla. Well, no matter how you view it, America's health care system is in a crisis. At more than $600 billion annually, the cost of providing health care continues to outrun the growth of the economy. We took to the streets of Delaware County, got some reaction, and people agreed that, yes, indeed, we are in a crisis. Now, there are three plans Congress is now seriously considering. The first is a national health insurance plan, H.R. 1300, the Russo plan. It is closest to the Canadian health plan and is backed by Democrat Jerry Brown. As you know, Jerry Brown doesn't look like he's going to make it against uh, Bill Clinton. So let's take a look at the other plans that are in place. The second is a pay or play plan backed by Bill Clinton. It would require employers to either provide coverage for their workers or pay into a pool covering the estimated 40 million who now go without health care. The third health care plan being considered by Congress is Senator Walford's plan. Now, this bill adds another government layer but replaces the 1,500 overlapping public and private health care plans. All of these plans call for a significant increase in taxes. President Bush's plan, you say you didn't bring that up. Well, here it is. It offers tax credits and deductions to help Americans buy medical insurance. It would cost over $100 billion. Well, Donna, Citizen Action is supporting a universal, simple national health insurance system. Uh, one that is that the HR research HR, plan? HR, HR 1300, 1300, which would give people freedom of choice, what medical provider to go to, would be the most cost-efficient system, uh, and would be the simplest system to have. Now, it's very interesting, the election results that we've seen, uh, because this issue is clearly going to be played out in Delaware County, in Pennsylvania, and in the nation as a result of the election results tonight. Now, you speak of Delaware County, and this question is addressed to you, Jack. Um, 
have lawmakers been in touch with you to ask you, as the director of a health care system, you run, what, four hospitals in yeah. Delaware County out of a total of eight hospitals in the county? That's uh, half. Um, have lawmakers been in touch with you to, to say, Jack, what would you recommend <clears throat> is the best solution to this problem? I think part of the political uh, fervor or smoke is that we've got lots of people talking about health care reform, very little in the way of meaningful um, mechanical solutions. You've got Congressman Russo no longer coming back to the Congress, so the champion of, of the uh, Canadian-style bill. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching.